March 5, it's quarter after 8 p.m. Okay, so we did our third number three rice time. We did our third rice time in the pizza pan. And now it's time to build the pizza. My first step, I always like to brush the dough. Give the dough some olive oil. That's our first layer. I actually call this the first layer. Some olive oil. Once I get that nice ooey gooey thing going there, it's some dry spices. This is rosemary and thyme. I put it in my coffee grinder and I pulverized it into a fine powder. And that is good right there. Okay, what we want to do next, I have some onions here. These have been marinating for at least three, four days in the fridge in a uh, bottle of uh, pickled peppers I had bought for deli, like hoagies. You pile the peppers on the hoagie. So that's a hot vinegar type of thing going on. That's why they're yellow. That was the color of the vinegar. Okay, so we're going to add that. And actually all of that. And it gives off a nice smell. There is there is a beautiful smell com coming off the brine. From there, we have mushrooms that we have made uh, a couple of days ago. These were raw. Uh, marinated in our homemade butter, our homemade herb butter, which is the same herb you just actually saw me throw on that pizza. So now we're going to go with some mushrooms. I'm going to stir them up a bit. I don't want the liquid. So i got to kind of get the get the mushrooms on there without the liquid and that should do it We're going to go with our fresh Roma tomato. I was going to use two, but this looks like it's going to be enough.
Okay, some thick slices of mozzarella. I think this works really well. You know, I'm a double cheese kind of guy. And there's a big thick slice right there. And, uh... I've been watching chefs on television, and they seem to go for this. You just plop these big hunks of cheese. Okay, and we, I think we got ourselves a pizza. Mushroom, tomato, tomato sauce. Onions in a brine, mozzarella, dry spices, which I think we're going to do a little more dry spice. We're going to go a little bit more. A little more dry spice. That's rosemary and thyme. Now we're going to do a 400 degree oven. It's 825 on the money. And into the oven we go. 400 degrees. Preheated. We shall be back. 8.25 p.m. March 5. Camera is off. Okay, we've been at it for a while. I forgot to set the timer. But we're in there. I think we got to go another 10 minutes. So there's our pizza. We'll be back in another 10 minutes. Twenty minutes to nine o'clock PM March five camera is off. I forgot to set, reset the timer on this pizza. I think I have five more minutes to go. I forgot to set the timer on this pizza. I think we have five more minutes to go, but I'm going to yank it right now. We got to check our bottom crust. I've been making round pizzas, my square pan stuff wore out. So we should check our crust. And I think we're perfect right there. I think we're really perfect right there with our crust. And we seem to be quite juicy on the pizza. Okay, and there we have our lovely pizza. Let's put that onto a board. Normally I do a drizzle of olive oil, but that thing's juicy enough. So we'll do a uh, pizza slice.
And there we have our finished product. Some really nice crusty dough. Some dynamite pizza. That's that big thick slice I was talking about. Fresh tomato. Spices, olive oil. It's like 7 minutes to 9 p.m. We're just about to have dinner. Have a nice day.